all right welcome to CISO's engineering training and we already know we we started up this to train students on the use of different softwares so today we'll be looking at Orion we already know that Orion is uh, used to design um, to, to prepare structural design it runs analysis and detail it also provides you with a calculation sheet of this uh, design that you the design you just prepared it gives you the calculation sheet so let's go to Orion all right this is my Orion open wait for it to open Let's wait for it to open. All right, we have the Orion, and uh, when when you're opening Orion, it's either you uncheck this show at startup. If you uncheck it, you will not be seeing it as startup. But I want to leave it here so that if I want to, maybe you want to check. Um, quick start guide you want to read up some guides concerning how you will use Orion you will still easily assess it so right now I'm going to you close this when you don't want to use it okay then when this is what comes out at this interface you either select what you have done before the works you've done before or you want to start a, a new project so we are starting a new project so I'm going to click new project you type the name of the project I'm going to use tutorial okay Orion tutorial tutorial underscore one space doesn't work here you click ok then the code this is the design code we are going with ukps 8110 you import then your paper you can select a1 a2 a3 so i'm using a1 click ok so this is my working environment and uh, right now this is what we have when you are starting Orion you can see your file under your file you get a new project your um, open open previous save project save project acts this is the file that is here also these are the icons of the components in the file okay so you can see the file if I want to, I'm right clicking here to place whatever I want to be here this is the edit the next one is edit let me mark it, it comes out Maybe that's where you have your undo object snap settings clear selection this one is your member members if i click on members if i mark it is off let me select it again this one is your uh, building yes this is your building the building that is where you do your analysis um okay look at your view by the side okay checking them that is where you zoom window zoom previous zoom extension zoom limit zoom limit rather so we also have layers you have run okay this is okay building okay building is this one this is the run rather that is where you have load the composition 
building analysis model and analysis result display so this is your um, run where you do your analysis then I'm bringing back um, building building talks about your story this is the same thing you, you get here you get here you are seeing story structure okay this is the structure of the building and since your story everything you'll be doing here will be will be listed here okay so for example this is our axis this is our column this is our wall this is beam slab leaf slab slash strip we'll be using these tools as we proceed so in this today's lesson we'll be talking about we'll be working with the axes and the columns okay and uh, with time in our next class we'll have a working drawing we'll work with a, a drawing that is visible so that we'll, we'll try to design the drawing maybe an existing drawing so let's have this now I want us i want to tell us how to draw axis Gloria, just with any sketch at all and how to use our columns that is the purpose of this class today okay the axis you go to axis click on it then i want to draw the horizontal axis axis is just your grid line on your walls the, the lines at the center of your walls so i'm um, clicking on it on the on the paper when you click you hold your mouse you can take it to anywhere but i want to draw the horizontal axis so you hold the control key on your keyboard for it to be straight then when you take it to the extent you want it to be you leave your mouse and leave the control key so i have um, a okay that's the label of the axis okay you already know when you want to zoom you can scroll your mouse okay all right um all right this axis by right click on it i see the property the properties is just the same as what comes out when you are drawing the axis okay the label the length the angle all right i'm right clicking again offset axis i want to offset this axis i want to move if i want to move it offset you are offsetting it the, the original will be there if you are moving it the original will just move to a certain distance okay you are if you want to stretch it okay let me start with stretching of axis i can stretch it hold the control key okay i can take it back still on stretch i'm holding the control key for it to be straight to get a straight line okay now I click again I want to move the axis move offset whatever you want to when you place a command you see this command uh, uh, box you type your whatever you want to do so move offset distance so what distance do I want to move we are working with millimeter so I want to move it by 1000 millimeter just type 1000 don't press anything you click towards the direction i'm clicking on this direction if i click on this direction it's moving that way if i click this direction it's moving with that's 1000 okay i'm moving this way moving this way i'm just moving it all right okay that is move i want to offset maybe i have other walls now these other walls i need to offset Maybe the next wall is by 3.6 meters. That is 3,600 mm. Then 
that three thousand six hundred mm. This let's assume our wall is two to five, and the in to in is of the room is three thousand six hundred. You add your two to five because this is at the center of the of the wall. Center that means one one two point five will be here. The next one center one one two point five. That is two two five. So three six plus two to five. That is what I want to offset. I click offset axis and I type three eight two five. 3825 and I'll offset towards this direction. The next one you don't need to if you are working with the next axis, you don't need to close this, you just type your next distance. Okay. Okay, let's assume that one is a, a 4200. Add your 225. 4425. Okay. Then the next one is one two add it to the one four two five you move okay now i want to draw the vertical axis vertical axis i'll click on axis again take the axis from there click here i'm holding my mouse drag it down okay leave your mouse and leave your control key i have the control to make to make it straight so always remember to hold your control key when you want to draw axis okay it's just to get a straight line close this right click i want to offset i'm assuming distance this one three six so three eight two five i move then the next one, I'm assuming distance again, maybe 3,000 to, to 3,225. Maybe the next one is uh, okay, maybe 4,000, All right. And two the axis, so this one is moving one, two, three, four, and this one is A, B, C, D. All right, okay. So we are done with axis. Remember, you can move your axis, you can stretch your axis, you can uh, offset the axis. All right, the next thing is our columns. I told us earlier, we'll be working on. Columns and axis. So let's go to columns. All right. The columns. This is your column two. Click on it. Look at the property of the column here. Look at the property. Under general. The width of your of your the width of your column B one is two to five. You're working two to five. B two is two to five. Okay. Then um Your eccentricity that is E1 and E2. You can click on this point to get this one. This one is showing you the center, both the X and Y axis are on the center. So you or you type 112.5. You go to model, select under concrete here, yeah? select default. That is your concrete strength 16 slash 20. You know, uh, concrete grades here. Yeah, the mix ratio we are using, we might get the strength between 16 kilo newton per millimeter square. Okay, then still 
four ten that's type two then you go to where you want the columns to be you see at intersection of axis you click I'll click on them click on them click on them I'm clicking on them so you can see I'm done with my columns. The columns have names 1C1 225 by 225. Okay, I'm saving. I'm saving. Okay, so thank you and God bless you. Next class will be talking about the beam.